Hey guys, so in a lot of my videos you see me use a bead roller because I do a lot of sheet metal work. And the one I use is a Woodward Fab bead roller. Now I bought it a few years ago. You've seen me do all types of things to it from motorizing to reinforcing, building my own stand, all types of things. Well, I was talking to Woodward Fab about their new Super Bead and it's their latest bead roller. It's got great reviews. It seems to be a really great unit. And after talking to them, they sent me out this. So we're gonna go through unboxing it, getting it setting up and rolling our first beads with it. So let's get it open. At first glance, this is definitely a beefier product. Compared to its older one, the steel is thicker, it's way more stout. It's got some cool features, that's for sure. I'll show them to you. Guards, things like this, but all around this is a much beefier unit. All right, let's talk about the dies it comes with. You've got 16th, eighth, and quarter inch step dies. You've got quarter, three eighths, and half inch round dies. And then over here, it actually comes with a shear die to be able to cut the metal. Now the other box they sent me is the actual 110 power unit for it. Now this I'm really excited about because you guys have seen me make mag shift power units out of drills and whatnot and I burn them up. It's really hard working with a bead roller by yourself, especially if you're doing a large panel. So I'm really excited about this. Let's open this up and see what it comes with. Now with my previous unit, I just welded it to my stand. With this, I'd rather not do that. I wanna do it correct this time. So, gotta do a few modifications to my stand to adapt to this. I'll do that and then we'll actually get it assembled. Well, my stand got a little bit of an upgrade. I went ahead and put the pins on for the dies. I've taken and uh, put the mount here so we can bolt this one on and gave it a quick paint job. All right, well, we got it all mounted. So now what we need to do is start following the steps to put on the power unit. So I'm gonna read the instructions. <clears throat> You gotta remove the gear guard. Next, we gotta remove the bolts from the bearing blocks. Now I've removed the sh shield here, so I can go ahead and bolt this up with the longer bolts they give you. I had to replace the shorter bolts with the longer bolts to accommodate bolting on the actual motor. Then when you're doing it, you have to actually align the coupler up onto it. And you wanna make sure that coupler's straight. If it's angled, it's gonna bind up and wear out fast. So you wanna make sure it's straight. So you can do that by adjusting the motor, tilting the motor back and forth to get the actual shaft straight. Now all we gotta do is put on the guard. Well, the motor's mounted. Got all my dies on my stand. I put a nice uh, eighth inch bead on here right now to test. We got some sheet metal ready to go. Let's go ahead and run a few.
Well guys, that's about it for the Super Beat. Now, I gotta say I'm impressed, all right? This body here is about a half inch steel. Now, the previous one I had issues with when I really put pressure down on the dies, it would flex as I was turning. So you guys saw me take one inch square tubing, weld it in, reinforce it to keep it from flexing. This one, no flex. I ran different material through it, nothing, it's good to go. The adjuster handle, now this might seem like a small deal to you guys, but the adjuster handle is actually twice, I'd say almost twice the thickness of the previous one. And it's got a cool feature. It clicks into the actual um, top roller block and the bearing block, and it will actually grab and lift up and pull that top die off your material for you. So you can just slide the piece out. Now, the old one, you would crank down and it press into the sheet metal, you crank it up, you'd have to reach down and grab the top roller to pull it up so you can get your material out. Seems like a little thing, but when you're doing a lot of stuff, that's annoying. This is way better. Now, the motor, all right? There's so many good things to say about having a motor like this. Now, you guys have seen me take drills and power it by a drill, things like that. Did it work? Yes. Did it work over a long period of time? No. I kept burning up motors, okay? And it's because I had to run it so slow. I didn't have the gear reduction I needed. This is 75 to one. In order for me to do that, there'd be a lot of chains and pulleys. So this guy here, I can barely step on that pedal and it would creep. Let me stay on the line or I could floor it and I get that 20 RPM going and I could feed a piece through nice and easy. So. Gotta say, liking the motor. Now, I grabbed the catalog to get you guys some prices because I know somebody's gonna ask me about prices. The Super Bead. So you get it with the manual crank, the dies. Um, that's gonna be 240 bucks. Um, their stand that comes with the die holders, everything like that, so you don't have to fabricate anything. It's gonna be about 130 bucks. I looked up the motor. The motor's gonna run you about $400. Um, I'll put a link to the site so you guys can go look at it and uh, see if there's something you like and you can get a feel for what they make. They make a lot of metal working tools, okay? Um, other than that, guys, gotta say, I'm impressed. So, see you guys on the next one.